What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Bear Necessity TCG and today we are going to be doing a product review of the MTech 3 row card drawer. Now, I just want to let you know they did send this to me because I was in my quest for card organization. I run a TCG player store. I'm also a player of many different TCGs. So storage in my small room is a big priority. Normally, like everyone else, we store our cards in one of these cardboard boxes. A lot of people do it. I have tons of them over there on the shelf. But there are some flaws. So for one, sturdiness. You can't stack these on top of each other. There's a weight limit. There's, there's so many things. So I was trying to find a better way. And I stumbled upon MTech and their wooden drawers. So... I thought, let me give it a shot. Maybe I could build my inventory based around their drawers. So I needed to get one first, get my hands on it, and see what I thought. So I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts, uh, little tips, assembly, uh, things to make it better. So let's start off with talking about assembly. I'm not gonna make an assembly video because MTech already provides one of those, and so do a, a lot of other YouTubers that uh, purchased the product and made videos. So personally, I don't think it needs another one. I followed the MTech video and I made slight tweaks here and there. Main one being I did not have clamps, but I did have rope. So I used rope in the place of clamps and I tied them together. Uh, I used heavy books, weights, things around the house to make sure when I am gluing these that they are as tight as I could possibly get them. Because when they do arrive, they do arrive uh, collapsed and you're going to have to assemble these yourself. Reason being is imagine the shipping on this thing. The price would have to go up. So to save you on shipping, they collapse it and let you uh, build them. And all you need is wood glue and things around the house. So any wood glue will work. I use Gorilla Glue, um, the one that dries clear just because I care about appearances. And all the little products that I mentioned are going to be in the description as well as links to MTech. Um, all this stuff, this extras you can get on Amazon. Uh, you can get wood glue, you could get rope, you get clamps, things like that. Again, description, check it out. So the tips that I have for assembling these things are do a mock build first. Don't put any glue just line up the pieces like a puzzle, put them all together. Because when I did it in the beginning, I was gluing things backwards, thinking there was only one way to, that they would fit. There's a couple ways that they would fit. So build it all up before you do it. And then once you're, you have everything lined up, go ahead and uh, collapse it again, add the glue, go ahead and assemble everything together. It's not, I don't wanna say it's, it's easy, because that really depends on the person that's building it. Some people are crafty, others are not. Um, I would say if you're not the crafty person, just find someone who is. Uh, it it wasn't bad and the, the second one was easier. These two are two separate ones that I have stacked on top of each other and I did glue them together and there's a reason for that that I will get to in a little bit. So let's talk about the overall features of this box. As you can tell, this is made out of wood. Now, you don't need, um, you might think, oh, well, it's not oak. It's not this fancy hardwood or anything like that. You don't really need it to be much more sturdy and sturdier materials than this. This did a great job. It holds all these cards, no problem. But because it's wood, there's a couple things that come with it. So if you have cardboard, now you could you could paint this, you could draw on it, you could design it. But wood is interesting in the sense that you could stain it. Now, I tested a little piece in the back. I kind of wanted to know. And you could stain this however you want. If you want it darker, you want it lighter, you want it gray. I was trying to figure out what color I wanted to go. Um, I might go with kind of a, a whitish gray kind of stain or paint. But that's just me. So that's one plus that this thing has over um, cardboard or plastic or something like that. The other thing is 
because it's wood, there's no, uh, there's no drawers or anything. So it's just pulling out and there's a lot of friction, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Um, there's some additional things to reduce, I, not reduce the friction, but when I first got it and I pulled this drawer, pulled the cards, the entire thing would just slide and fall off. Um, another reason I have them stacked is without this top row's weight, when I pull it out like this, the thing will just collapse over. And when talking to other people, um, talking to the owner of MTech and everything, um, you can stack these pretty high. If you check their website, you can glue these things. You don't have to glue them, I prefer to, but you can glue them all the way up. And that was the main appeal that I had for this box. Again, here, uh, it's not great because I can't put another box on top of it. And yes, they do sell ones that kind of have a little cubby hole like this, but you can only put so much weight on cardboard before it just starts collapsing. So the handle, very nifty. You don't have to put it on, it's optional. You can just take it off and snap it out. In the front, you're going to find uh, little slots that you could put a top loader in if you wanted to. So for example, I'm trying to figure out my organization right now, but as it is, it, there's Battle Spirits Saga in all these, first set, second set, third set. So I'm probably gonna put a little top loader in here, label the front of it to say what set it is. That way I can easily find out. Right now it's not bad, but if I expand this and have the whole table, it's gonna be hard to identify. So having this is really good. And with a product like this, you are you need to have a little bit of imagination going on. And what I mean by that is, at first, I was like, oh, here's a Digimon card. I'll just drop the Digimon card right here and I'll be able to tell. Problem is, you only get to see the top of it and you really can't, I mean, unless you're amazing, you can't really tell what set these belong to. So, uh, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of... Um, just design work. You could write it on the actual wood right there or in the front. I move things around so I don't want it to be actually permanent. But it is an optional slot right there, which is nice. These drawers also come all the way out. And let me see. Let's see. How am I going to show you this? I don't think I will be able to show you. Maybe if I do that. Okay, so you see that top uh, empty void right here and how there's a black um, something on the bottom. So these do come with a velvet liner. Uh, it's a, kind of a sticky pad. You just peel it off, put it on the bottom and it protects your cards from the bottom because the bottom again is wood. Uh, and something I didn't anticipate, which I like and dislike at the same time, is that velvet adds a grip. So when you're sorting through these cards, so if I get an order in for Battle Spirits, I'll swing over in my chair, I'll pull this out a bit, and I'll start you know, working my way through. The issue that I have with the, the that velvet pad on the bottom is it grips onto the cards. So if I wanna easily slide loose cards uh, backwards and forward, it grips and it's kind of a problem. If they're top loaders, no issues there. Uh, if they're deck boxes, things like that, no issues. Just the loose cards themselves. So that is kind of a, um, I don't want to say disappointment because I like it, but I don't like it for this application of having bulk. You know, storing my bulk, uh, this may not be the best way for me. Also, there is a lot of wiggle room right here between the cards. So as I'm moving things, picking up, you know, they are kind of slamming against the sides. Uh, he did mention that it's built that way so you can put in top loaders and, um, and larger deck boxes, things like that. Unfortunately, the slabs for some reason, I should say for some reason, the slabs, you know, they don't really fit. You can put them on the side, they'll go in, um, and you can kind of stack them this way, but you're not going to be able to 
stick one in. They don't actually even fit, but I'm sure they make other products for storing these. So because it wasn't, uh, it, it's not being used for what I wanted it to be. I sat here and I tried to figure out exactly what I wanted it for. And so let's look at this, this top drawer. I sell a lot of stuff and this is perfect for organizing all the little things that I have. So for example, I got stamps here. I have my, uh, my ink stamp for my address. We have top loaders in case someone orders something a little more expensive. All these penny sleeves right here, stands, tape, and all these are easily divided by these wooden dividers that you have. So they fit in all the little slots and you can organize them by based on the space you need. Easy way to separate different sets, different, um, different sets, different items, uh, different decks, things like that. So I have a couple things next to me. So let's say I didn't want that to be penny sleeves. I have a deck box right here. These easily just slide in for storage. You have a bunch of these League, uh, Pokemon League battle decks. They fit in there just fine too. So again, while this didn't suit the needs of what I thought I wanted, it did fill and make me think about other ways that I could use this because now this top drawer turned into shipping uh, supplies, which I desperately needed to sort because they were all over the place. Uh, a couple other things to note about the design is you have one side that is, um, has a lighter wood to it. And then let's see. And uh, how am I going to show this? So you have a light side, but if you look at, where is it? Right here, you have a redder, kind of darker side to it. So they're, when you build them, either you can get a more red tint or a more uh, lighter brown. It's really up to you. I opted for the lighter one just because uh, I do plan on staining it later. So, let's talk about an addition that had to be made to this. Um, well, not a flaw in the product, more of a flaw in how I was using it. So I put a very heavy drawer filled with all these cards on top of a glossy, smooth, wooden uh, table. So initially, if I went to go grab a card, I would pull this, the entire thing would just slide off. It's not the weight on the top that is really holding it in place. So what I did was I got a rug uh, mat, like uh, one, one of these, it goes under your rug. That way the rug doesn't slip around. It grips onto it. So I bought one, I cut it up to fit exactly under it, placed it under there, and now the thing doesn't move at all. No, doesn't budge a bit unless I lift it off that mat. This is a must. If you're gonna use it on a table and and you want a solid good product that you could operate with one hand, you need to buy it. Before that, I had to push on the top and then pull. I don't like that, I'm not about that life. I gotta do things quick. I'm in my chair doing orders, swivel around, pull it out, sort and go. So just know if you're gonna put it on something that's slick like this, or you're gonna have something that uh, maybe weighs a bit, you're gonna need one of these. Other than that, my, my overall thoughts on this product is it is well-built. Of course, that comes down to how you build it too. Um, make sure it dries all the way before you try to throw cards and use it. It's very well built, very sturdy. Pretty sure I can stack a bunch 
uh, of boxes up here. It comes in different varieties as far as bigger ones, smaller ones, ones designed for minis, ones designed for tokens, designed for shipping shields. They make all sorts of stuff. And with a little bit of glue, ingenuity, moving things around, you can create the perfect storage unit. Um, you can put it on the carpet. Carpet, I had it on, on the bottom for a little bit on the carpet and it was a lot easier to pull in and pull out, but just reaching down there for cards, it, it wasn't doing it, so I had to elevate it. Um, would I buy it? Would I go out and make a whole system out of this? Yes, yes I would. I think it's a great product, but I personally would me need more time. I, I would need to measure my area and I would need to say see how many drawers do I need for deck boxes? How many do I need for bulk? How many do I need for, uh, for um, graded cards? How many do I need? How many do I need? How many do I need? And then assemble it before I even buy it and really play um, play with the, the layout of it. And I think that's the beauty of this product is you can do that. You can go and take your room, design it all the way up, stain these so it actually looks like furniture and it's supposed to be there. Um, and create a nice space-saving alternative to just getting these ugly cardboard boxes, which, um, yeah, they might save you some money because these, I would say probably, you know, it's gonna run you more, but it's one of those, do you want something that's more customizable? Um, you prob as long as you're not taking a sledgehammer dude or anything like that, this thing will be uh, there for life. These, I've gone through these. Um, from me just grabbing it, pulling it, lifting it, things like that, this starts separating on the side, it starts breaking off, and I have to buy new ones. Um, really depends on how often you handle your cards, though I'm doing it every single day. So you might be able to get away with this, but personally, I think in a room, this fits what I'm going for, and I believe uh, if you're like me and you want something that uh, looks good, is sturdier, uh, and you just like that wood look, then this is definitely something that you should put some money in. You head over to the website, again, links in the description, check them out, look at all their products, and then go ahead and take a chance. Pick one up, assemble one, see how you like it, see how the assembly process is. Um, I suggest that for anybody ordering it, anybody, get one, assemble it, see if you like it, test it out, um, get some glue, get one of these carpet things and make sure you put it through its paces and it's something that you want because it will be there probably for a lifetime if you take care of it. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Um, if you picked one up, let me know in the comments how, um, you know, what you thought about it. If you have problems with the assembly, do you want to shoot me a question on how I did it with just some ropes where I tied it because the first one came out okay, the second one came out a lot better once I realized, oh, I probably should wrap this around. This should be tighter. The top portion should be less tight because I started pulling it out of the, uh, you know, the actual, um, I'm gonna call them the puzzle piece slots. So there's a way to kind of finesse this and get it going. But, thanks for checking out the video. And again, thank you for sending me these boxes. Uh, they're, they're doing great. I'm going to be using them for a while and I will be planning how I can, uh, how I can extend these and get more to kind of fit my needs. And with that, I will catch everyone next time.